Oh, I didn't come down to you? You like it, right? Yeah. Eric. Um, well, let me just say real quick, Austin, um, Common Core, like everyone said, here's a big issue. Um, but let me give you some background. Common Core, like, like Mike said, is, is a, it's a standard. Um, 44 out of 50 states have adopted this standard, and uh, that's voluntarily. I mean, that's not something they just was forced upon. And Common Core is developed by state governors and educational commissioners. And, you know, it was devised by teachers. So I think the concept of Common Core is great because you're, you're trying to raise the standard. So whether you're, you know, I, I've got many kids in the system. You know, these guys see their kids graduate. So I can tell you firsthand what Common Core has done for my kids. I've got a kindergartner at Hay Hart Elementary and I've got a second grader. My second grader never had Common Core. And my, my kindergartner, he's going through Common Core right now. And I'll tell you right now, where he's at, his math is far ahead of where my daughter was when she was in kindergarten. So I think whenever he's in fifth grade, the level of standard for him is going to be that much better for than my daughter now. Also, you know, you're going to hear a lot of complaints about Common Core from teachers and students because obviously the, the higher you get up, the third graders, the fourth graders, the fifth graders, they never had Common Core. So to them, it's something brand new. And like I said, the longer you go not, not having to learn it, it's hard for you to learn where these young kids, like my kindergartner, that's all he knows is Common Core. So he's learning it and he's doing well. And like I said, where he's at in kindergarten with Common Core versus where my daughter's at in second grade. Day. So down the road, when you look at where he's going to be in fifth grade in college, I, mean, I want to know at the end of the day when my son's in, um, when he's going to college, he's looking to apply to college, that he's on the same level as these kids up in Atlanta and these kids up in New York. I mean, you know, I did it when I graduated. I don't think I was one of the few here. I mean, I got my education outside of Georgia. I went to Citadel. Then when I went to the Citadel, I went to the University of Georgia and my MBA. And when I Finished up at, at uh, Georgia, I went to Atlanta and worked in the corporate world. I'll tell you guys, when you work in the corporate world with these guys from Atlanta, I mean, I, I, was, I was working with peers that weren't from South Georgia, weren't from Lowndes County, they were from New York, they were from Virginia, and these guys were smart. And I, I mean, for our kids to be able to compete with these guys, they've got to have something that's competitive across the country. So I'm for raising the standards. I mean, Georgia's not leading the nation anything as far as academic curriculum, but I, I do think it needs to be tweaked. So. Anyway. You owe me 10 seconds.